In my experience, the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just fuck an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> what is going on in the streets? We, <laughs> yo, when I saw this story, I just had to laugh. I don't know what's going on right now. And I'm going to give this story so many layers of context because Zion Williamson is tripping. He has lost it. Yo, I didn't think I was going to see this one because after 4K Trey Ja went sicko mode, after Ja Wick went then pulled out the blicky and pulled out the tool. I didn't think these two could come together to create such a debacle. Like, yo, number one and two are tripping. But I'm going to leave Ja alone. He could do his thing. He listened to the NBA young boy. He got to take a seat for a while. We don't know what's going to happen with that. We waiting for the finals to finish, whatever the case may be. But, yo, let's just pull up the numbers real quick because this is wild. Zion in his, is in his fifth year, all right? So he's making... <laughs> He's making $194 million, all right, at the age of 22. Zion is 22 years old, and he's only been in the league five years. Last year, he, just for context, he only played 27 games last year, and he made a solid, solid $33 million for 27 games. So the New Orleans Pelicans are paying him upwards of $1.5 million per game before taxes i'm not here to speak on finances that is wild i'm just giving you context zion has lost it he doesn't know who he is the fact that he laid up with a scallywag no rub allegedly got this woman pregnant is having a child with a rando he's having a child with a random off the streets i'm sorry learn from zion's simpology when i talk about being a simp when I talk about getting finessed, this is what I mean. If you're worth $200 million, somehow God blessed you to sign these checks, to sign these contracts. Yo, you have to understand who you are. Sir, leave the scallywags alone. And if you're going to mess with a scallywag, cool, we get it. You want to have fun? You're outside in the streets. You're messing with, oh, you meeting OF models. You're meeting strippers. You're meeting all types of women throwing themselves at you. I get it. But we already knew that from the sense that Zion has in fashion, which is none, we knew his taste in what they, they pointed they, right there. Just like the, the, <laughs> the Leonardo DiCaprio, right, th right there, right there. That guy, yes finessed bro i don't know what made you lay up with not one but two different women he is being dragged through the mud from this situation like i've never seen a dude get dragged like this because yo you come out you pop out okay you got your queen with you she nice she's of the culture we see it so umar don't gotta pop out the shadows and say anything cool but the next thing you know they start to pull up the carfax on shorty they start to pull it up. She out here. She got videos wilding. She got fight videos. She got videos where she just popping it on the like. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So when I see, <laughs> when I see this, I hate to like be the guy that's like, yo, this is wild. And I'm sure so many people have spoken on this story, but. Like, yeah, bro, you lost on this one. This is a major L. Like, I don't know how you play this. Because there's a whole nother scenario of this woman named Mariah Mills, who's a porn star or an OF model or whatever the case may be. Who knows? She is lighting you up. She has receipts. You and her are going back and forth on Snapchat. Like, this is crazy to me. So when I look at stories like this, Zion just doesn't know who he is. It's like, yo, as you come into all this money and you start to become a man, you realize there's certain people that never really got what they wanted as a kid or maybe in high school he was so focused on basketball he went to college focused on basketball didn't meet any women doesn't have that gift of gab when he gets to the league he signs that massive check yo he's getting finessed by these women and the one thing that this shows me is bro this guy has no friends I don't know who's around Zion, but some people have to watch these kids. Like we have to, we have to just deem them as kids now because one, cuz don't know how to dress himself. His style is terrible. 
But two, your choice of women is crazy. Like, like you got random strippers and OF models talking about having your kids. And you worth 200 M's. You could have been worth more, but you tanking your situation by not playing. So I know you're not going to hit that Braun Billy. You're not going to hit that Steph Billy because you're not trying to put yourself in a different class. And that's what you really have to do as a man. You have to elevate. It's a lot of women out here that are going to try to garner your attention because you're winning. That does not mean you actually have to give them attention. You can say no. You can treat women just like how they treat us. Just say no. If they don't got that bag secured, just say no. If they're not in shape, just say no. If they done gobbled every glizzy from Phoenix to, to, to Texas to Miami to L.A., bro, leave them alone. Yeah, like why is your shorty with Boozy? Why is your shorty with Boozy badass? I don't get it. Why is your shorty popping it? Why is your shorty popping it in front of Queens flip on the table? I don't get it. It's sad to me, bro. We don't got to go out this bad. Like you making us look bad, bro. I already said it. Women have the leverage. Women are playing chess. Men are playing checkers. Women are trying to get the bag. They can't really finesse it. They not out here dunking. They not out here shooting in the gym. What they going to do? They going to find a Zion. Like, bro, your name is attached to being a simp. You teaching a master class right now, and it's sad. I got to speak on it. I hate to speak on these videos because, yo, this man is probably a good dude, solid, treats his family good, ain't doing nothing crazy, just playing basketball and having fun with women. But what he did was went ahead and shot somebody club up. That's cool. You taking accountability. He got the whole fireworks going. It's a vibe. I love you. Da, da, da. Cool. It is what it is. But then you got a shorty popping out the shadows. You have a joint popping out the shadows. Let's just pull up some of the tweets because this is ridiculous to me. I don't know where she was going with this one, but this to me was wild. And just for context, just put shorty on the screen. Let's just play some video. Let's just give the folks some context. Why, sir? Your joint out here delivering pizzas about to get tagged by some dude named Bob. And this is the joint you wife in? This is the joint you talking about moving around you. Why, sir? I do not get it. Like, I just don't get it. So let's put it up on the screen. This is wild to me. I deleted the video of the photographer pouring honey in my mouth because you told me you felt disrespected. And I come to Twitter to see you trending with a thought. <laughs> Being pregnant and you kissed that hoe in the mouth. Why you hurt me like this, Zion? Why? <laughs> bro you out here calling shorty butterfly bro see this is what i don't agree with i just don't get it you giving joints ammo she has ammo and she is blowing you up online right now putting all your business in the street so man's like me gotta talk about you on the mic a wagwan brethren you got to you gotta chill bro she keeps going I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. This one is hilarious to me. <laughs> you let you let that whole finesse you is why I'm angry. That 29 year old with an adult child already. And this is crazy to me because I looked this up, bro. She has a six year old. But stop playing. She said an adult child. I know what comes with being a basketball player. I know there will be other women, but I didn't expect you to get these joints pregnant. Zion. Why did you get her pregnant? And she continues. She's still going. I motivated you to get back in shape. <laughs> I let you smash me all kinds of way and fill me on your phone. And you impregnate a low budget porn star DNA tester. I'm done. <laughs> yo, bro, I can't. I'm sorry. This is the craziest story to me because, yo, when you have money, it really doesn't give you that button. Like, you need a button to, to know who you are. He has the money of an entire zip code. That's how much bread he has. Zion can go to everybody in your neighborhood's house and hand out a $100,000 check and will still have money in the bank at the end of the day. But he's talking to a scallywag and she is, yo, she keeps going. Wow, she has a thread. 
It says, I was with you last week in New Orleans and you couldn't tell me you had a random thought <laughs> pregnant after I've, all I've done for you? Come on, bro. You better pray I'm not pregnant too because I'm definitely late. Woo! I hate you, Zion. She dropped a bomb. Yo, the streets are indifferent. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Hey, this is partially why I'm not outside. Because when you have something to lose, and I'm definitely not in Zion's realm at by any means. So shout out to Cuz. He secured the bag. But when you run into these scallywags, you're going to get finessed. They've played the game. She's been here before. I don't know how old these women are. The first one was 29. I'm going to assume she's above 30. Yo, you're getting your time played with, bro. I'm going to give y'all boys some education right here. This is what I would do if I was in Zion's shoes. I'm taking a million. I'm injured, whatever. When you're injured, you can do whatever you want. That's what Gilbert Arena said. I'm going off his podcast. Cool. Bro, I'm traveling. I'm going to go somewhere for a weekend. The Bahamas. Okay, cool. I come back. I hang out with the team. I can fly private. This is all private. Cool. I go to Dubai for a weekend. This is without a phone. This is without a team. You, a bodyguard, and somebody you can trust. That's it. Three people. Just go hang out. Just go relax. Meet those women. Get them to sign NDAs. Even though they don't even care, they're still going to put your name in a book later. It don't matter. Get them to sign NDAs. At least you can sue them. Bruh. Go sit down. You are bugging. You got us looking crazy, bro. I don't know if you need it. Like, bruh, I'm not even going to bring that person's name into it. Because I was about to say, bruh, just LeBron, Steph, take these guys under your wing. But I get it. You realize it like how I realize it. They're lame. They're corny. They just don't get it. Ja, I got to come back to you, bruh. You are corny. You are lame. You are not a thug. I don't care how much NBA young boy you listen to. You are not a goon. That was not a toy gun. You want to be a thug. You're not, bro. You're a corny. You have $200 million and you still have your dad in your life. Bro, go chill. Cool. Back to Zion. Bro, it's not this serious. It's a lot of quality women out there. There's a lot of quality women out there. And I'm not saying... Go get you a church girl. Go get you somebody that's go, you know, cook, clean, do all. Nah, you can have fun, bro. Look at Duval. Have you a nice little retreat. Invite some nice ones you know. Invite some of your teammates and have a vibe. Go to Costa Rica. Go to Brazil. You can afford it, brother. You can leave New Orleans. You don't got to go to Dallas. Like, bro, I don't get it anymore. These boys are sick. Because they don't love you. They love your lifestyle. I've said it. How many times do I have to repeat it? Mm -hmm.